I lost to Curry again, actually. You know, then it's then you want it even more because it's been within reach. You know, so but we will move on to the compound men bronze medal match with Rio Wild um, coming out here first for the USA. He was the number one ranked archer in qualification. Um, shooting against Patrick from Australia, he was number six, so still a very high ranking archer um, in this competition and uh, definitely shot very well in the no, in the eliminations. Looking forward to this match. This Absolutely. Is, haven't seen Patrick Coughlin on the international scene for a while, sort of making his comeback. He used to be the world's number two archer way back in 2009. Uh, he's, been a, he's been a veteran on the stage, you know, and uh, for him he's a full-time bow, bow shop owner. Yeah. And uh, to come here and come and shoot against the professional right real well. So it's going to be a good match. And I think they both shot exceptionally well on yeah. their way coming here. And yeah, leading up to this point, they both shot very well. I know there were some some shoot-offs and everything, I believe. Um, so Rio beat Bridger Deaton in the 1-8 with two his points. teammate, yep. It's, yeah. always, it's always difficult shooting against your teammate. We very saw well. a couple of it's those true. here. Um, and then he beat Ismail Abadi with three points in the quarterfinals, and he beat, uh, he lost to PJ Delush with a point in the semis. And then Pat Cochlin um, shot against Omar Tahiri, beat nice him with three, shot. had a shoot off against Steve Anderson, which he won, and then he lost to uh, to Stefan Hansen in the semi final. Let's see if Rio can do what Damn. he's been doing this day. Yes, exactly. There you go, the there's an the X right there. I guess the first arrow will set the tone. Okay, Unfortunately for Pat, slightly high. Oh. Immediately goes to his there sights and adjusts it. He must have felt good about the shot. I think Rio knows where to shoot now. Yep, I think, you know, being out here a couple seven, times definitely nine, has eight, given him seven, an advantage. Six, the shots are taking just a little longer. Seven um, was hanging on that one. Yep, and he knows it. You know, he, he knows what he's going to have to do for the next one to kind of speed it up. And I, I do believe the wind is picking up here and there, you know, not a constant, not, not a constant breeze, but definitely something enough to, to throw it off just a little bit. Okay. So, so another here. nine it, from Pat. Ten, nine. There you In go. The 10, okay. Just left the Good start for Rio. Yeah. Definitely got his height sitting perfect <laughs> because it's uh, exactly the same as he shot earlier today. You can see him pointing to Mel now. <laughs> his side picture maybe, moved. Yep. Wiggling off a little bit. Pat also puts it in the 10, maybe slightly right still. Yep, and, and thinking too, he has not been out here on this stage yet today to know kind of how things have been going or what side of, what side of the 10 he's going to be on. So. Um, I saw he went down to his side, made a little bit of an adjustment. Yep. He's a seasoned veteran, although he has been on the stage for for a while. He's a very experienced archer. Seeing a couple couple comebacks this year, you know, from archers that have been taking a break maybe for a little yeah. bit. PJ we'll see another one in the next matches. <coughs> yep, absolutely. It seems to me that once you've um, tasted the archery thing and you go out, you want to come back. Yep. <laughs> Can't let it go. And you can, if you look at the flags and the trees in the background, the wind is consistently blowing at high <laughs> velocity. It changes and it gusts, it does, and yep. so that makes it even much more difficult because you can't just adjust for it uh, once off. You have to adjust shot by shot. Compensate, yep, accordingly. So Pat being down in the score, we'll start this one off first. Hopefully you can put a, a strong Very 10 nice down there. Here, real the real 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 just a little bit. Very good there you shot. Go. You know, even when you do have a lead in the score, uh, the pressure is still there to keep it. You know, you don't want to give it away and say, oh, I was ahead. There you go, full staff in at 10 o'clock. Um, and then, and you know, I, I made a mistake yeah. because I, I did one thing or another and that's what cost me, you know. So you can
can see that um, both the guys, Bo's are yeah, just moving a little bit there. But yeah. still, uh, Pat picks the moment bit. well there and yeah. put it in the X. Yep. And like we were saying too, um, with the, the speed that the arrows are going as well, that kind of does help in the windy situations. Ten, um, nine, eight, compounds definitely seven, still are six. affected. And that one again, it's uh, just a little bit longer of a shot you know the the two that he's missed so far he's gotten down to about the six second mark five yes. six second mark when he's his shots gone off the rest of them have only been around the nine or ten second mark when they've gone off and okay next that time eight eight you got this it'll here. keep the door open for it's like Rio. you always do right in the middle so uh, you remember what I said about um, the score that uh, Sara Lopez shot? Yeah. It's a very high score because if you look at the match yeah. going they've on here, they've already dropped that dropped. That's the middle right exactly. there. <laughs> you know, in, in six arrows versus what Sara did in 15, so. But Rio is still on, on course. Um, Pat unfortunately dropped that one low, giving Rio a uh, two-point advantage. Five, oh, you'll hear me start counting. Count and and, and uh, Rio took that advantage. Sometimes uh, an archer can give you the, uh, the <laughs> gap, and if you don't take it, that door closes again. Yep, absolutely. You can see, uh, <laughs> yeah. you can see how tense both archers. If you look at their faces, they're very serious. Yeah, very focused, uh, very concentrated. You know, not necessarily that they're angry or that they're upset. It's just that that's where they need to be to keep their keep their minds where it needs to be you know when you're out there you don't worry about how you look yeah. <laughs> you worry about wh how you're shooting and where your arrows are going um, and one thing for you know sp talking about the speed that the arrows are going there's a lot of things that play into how fast your arrow is going to go it, it matters how light the arrow is you know how fast the bowstring is pushing that arrow towards the target and how fast the bowstring is pushing the arrow depends on the the poundage the weight of the of the draw that the archer is shooting in world archery there's a maximum of 60 pounds so it kind of evens it a little bit okay, um, that I one's right on the line nice. we'll have to wait for maybe yeah, a call that, that's, on that uh, one. that's a 50-50 but the, the weight limit for world archery kind of evens the playing field where somebody, you know, can't, you know, who has a little bit more muscle mass can't uh, shoot 70 pounds and somebody with, that's a little bit line. smaller frame can only shoot 55. That's, you know, a, a big gap there would give a lot more of an advantage. So it kind of kind of keeps that a little bit lower. Um, and that well, was that, a good that, 10. That's on the line. Uh, that one definitely, good. definitely good. caught. So Rio uh, opened the door also a little bit by shooting that nine, and then both the archers veering to the right ever so slightly. Still, yep. Ten, nine. So it's with that there. ten, there's a Left possible two-point yeah. lead for Rio, uh, possibly only one if that if Pat's arrow is called in. And a well good done. strong Very shot. Nice. So those those were all good shots. It just depends on that micro uh, measurement that we were talking about. Yeah, it's a game before. of millimeters. Exactly. Game of it's, millimeters. it's definitely and you never know that one arrow right there could right the cause cause the loss or could so cause the win. It's um, square, it can be either square up or one up it's, for, it's for gonna be even, uh, that one arrow. His one they have is a nine is in. So it'll, it'll be even. Mel, Mel Nichols is nine. calling. He's got a pretty good swarovski spotting scope there, so he can usually see pretty clearly and if he thinks the judge is going to call it in. But you don't think he's a little a biased at the moment? Well, he did <laughs> okay. call Pat's arrow in, so <laughs> he's saying it, it looks looks like it's gonna it, he was saying it looks like it's gonna catch so um, i guess we'll just have to see what the judges call that was it three good shots from from pat there good strong comeback it's you know, that one looks like you know with that with that line broke like that it's hard for the judges to call it because if there's yellow in between there then it would be out but because the lines broke and it you know where the line would have originally been had it been a perfect line May have caught, so that's what they kind of have to take into consideration. They, they call it a nine. So I guess they, okay, they did good. call it a nine. Just Saw just that shot, little bit of yellow in, in between yeah. the line and the and the arrow shaft. So Rio Rio keeps that one point lead. It's a very good match, very close match at the moment. Good shooting by both these gentlemen. Absolutely. 
Rio really looks serious at this moment. It's all business. Yeah. All, I mean, this this is his job. This is what he does to to feed his feed his family back home. Um, he's got he's got little little kids and and a wife waiting for him back at home. So I'm sure they're they're watching and cheering cheering on dad. So. Very good shooting. Yeah. Kind of get yeah. back in a there rhythm, hopefully. He's definitely getting into a better rhythm. Uh, yep. After that, that last group was, was a very good group. Ten, nine, eight. And a little bit longer seven, of a shot here again, six. but. Just above and it. Just, just out, you know, so that right. well, timing really does yeah. does affect it. You know, you have to keep your rhythm and what the shot that you have practiced. If you go over that, then your muscles start to get weak and and your mind's saying, oh, you know, I don't know go. what to now do at good. this we're point because oh. we're not supposed to get this far. Get <laughs> exactly. So, and yeah, your mind is, um, you know, your mind that arrow something. should have been gone already. Mm -hmm. It's expecting so something. So you're into no man's land. Look at the, the inshore just opening area, just putting consistent and constant pressure on it. Yeah. Shot breaks to the left and off to the right slightly. Even up here, and you can tell Rio is kind of getting slightly frustrated a little bit. Um, we're shooting two nines in a row. Yeah. But both archers just need to continue to shoot strong shots here and, and so let this, the arrows this, fall. Um, this arrow from Rio will determine uh, if he's even or behind. Ten, nine, eight. Good shot. Even. Yep, there's an X. That so, um, <laughs> three arrows to go, we'll square. Oh. How many times have we seen today how the archers are very, uh, con you know, in line in terms of down, down range, five, five, four yep. sets down, and they're all, all squared up. So, it just yeah. goes to show you the level of competition is absolutely it's very very even you know at, at any any given day you know someone someone can have have the win where the day before it may have been somebody else you know so it's just it's so close now it's perfect he'll watch yours all three go in there and it'll be good and it's so close all the time too so it's, it's what makes the game interesting very interesting very interesting yeah man so three arrows left in the bronze medal match with the number one seed against the number six seed. Um, and anything can happen at this point. Okay, start it off right here. Yeah, it's definitely this, anybody's yeah. game. Nice strong shots. And Pat's world ranking will definitely improve after this tournament starting out at uh, 96. As you said, it, it hasn't, he hasn't been around for the last little while, you know, kind of drops down and then this will yeah. be a great, great introduction. There's one back right in, there. So. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I mean, too, th this, you can't ask for a better comeback than to reach the podium. Exactly. Rio put in a really good 10 there. Uh, a good, good 10 there as well. Both of them in. know that they don't have the room to... To make a mistake. To move anymore, right. Ten, nine. Even though that timing they, uh, was a little bit better, it's still still off just a little bit. Um, you could hear that door squeaking as it opened. See how Pat answers. Can he walk through it? Yeah. Look, a little bit of movement in that bow. Well, on perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Good 10. All, all Rio can do at this point is put a strong shot down there and see what Pat's last arrow is. Um, And that's, yeah, that's, that's a 10, exactly what so he did. Pat does need a 10 to win. A 9 will force us into another shoot-off shoot off. here for the day, which will only be the second for the day. Um, and it and is a 10. Go. That's all he needs. Wonderful shooting by Pat. Great comeback. Winner of the bronze medal. Okay, winner of the bronze medal, Pat Coughlin from Australia. Good shooting, beating the Honey Badger, which is not an easy feat. To do. No, absolutely not. Both very strong competitors, proving that they they did. Very exciting did want match. This. Yes, absolutely. Very exciting match to watch. Uh, thought. Um, it was really on the edge of your seat stuff until the last <laughs> arrow. You can see the relief in Pat's face there. Yes. Sure, now, have a beer or two tonight. Now it's time to breathe and just celebrate the win, yeah. you know. 
And uh, thinking about the, the bronze medal match, um, you know, how you make it to the bronze versus the gold, it all comes down to, you know, whether you make it to the bronze and win, you still only lost one match. It just depends on when Which you lose you lost, that match. Yeah. Yep. Um, the, the silver medal winner and the bronze medal winner each will have lost a match by the end of the competition. The gold medal winner will have beat all of, all of his or her competitors.